Okay, Bismillah. So, uh, just to record what we were talking about in the beginning. Uh, now, this today, we, I mean, last time we stopped at uh, the. We did some more exercise about how to merge by copying, and then we didn't did, did we, did, we did not do some kind of uh, application of word uh, of mer sorry of I said merge by copying. So deletion of nodes in a binary search tree by copying. That's what the code that was given and we worked with. And we're focusing more on that because the deletion by merging is resulting mainly, many times, in a tree that is not balanced. And what is a tree that is balanced? So it's the height difference of at any node in the right subtree and left subtree is always zero or one. That's the difference between them. Now, uh, that's why we'd like to end up by talking about how to balance those trees. And that's the discussion we're going to be talking about. And uh, so how do we balance that? And the, the tree that is balanced, a binary search tree that is balanced, is called an AVL tree. Now, the, dis the question that, before I check yours, the question, how do I get those, I mean, these numbers, what are they? So these are the balance factor. The balance factor is uh, just the difference between the height of the right subtree and the height of the left subtree. We start with the right minus the left. And we do that, and it gives us the balance factor. Now, how do we get those numbers? How do we get that balance factor? Look at any node. Take out any node. Let's say this one, for example. Now, what I'm going to say, I'm going to count how many levels in the right subtree. This is the right subtree. How many levels do I have? One. One. And I'm going to the levels on the left subtree. One, two. So, right subtree, the height is one. Left subtree, the height is two. One minus two gives me my minus one, right? So that's why this one, the minus one here, is this balance factor of this node over here. So every node has these numbers, these balance factors, this balance factor that is next to it. So how do we do that? You always take a node, let's say this one. How many, what's the height of the right subtree? That's zero, there's nothing. And left, zero. Zero minus zero gives us zero. How about this one? the right one two the left one two three so two minus three that's minus one that's the result of that so that's how we get that number the balance number did i answer your question okay because i cannot see you yeah so y your question Two. This one. Now, as as long as you have this one minus one, that's fine because the difference between the right and left is about one. Yeah, if it's minus two or but if it's more than minus one, that means it's not an AVL tree because now the difference of between the right and left is not zero or one. So it becomes like an unbalanced tree. And it doesn't have to be minus two; it can be also two. Right? Yes, yes, of course, it can be two. It depends on what's the size. For example, if uh, these were not to the left, but were to the right, then it's going to be yeah, 2 minus 0. That's, yeah. So it's 2 minus 2. We, we look at just the absolute value of that yeah. to know if it's, if it's I mean, more than 2. The absolute value is more than 2, more than 1, actually. That means it's not balanced. And the problem is that binary search tree, if, depending on how things are inserted in, it might result in some kind of an imbalanced. And uh, just as you can see, probably, if I remember, we have something yeah, here. Now look at these examples here, for example. Now this one, more specifically. Now what happens, for example, if I'm adding these nodes in this sequence? Let me just try to do that. So the first one is 5. So let me put the 5. Okay. Then 15. Where does the 15 go? To the right. 
then where does the 18 go? 18. So as you can see now, it's already now not an AVL because what is the balance factor of this one? 2 or minus 2? I have 1, 2 here and 0 to the left, so it's 2. What about this one? 1 and this one, 0. Now if you keep adding, let's say I'm adding 4 now. So it will be 4 here. If I add 3. And if I add 1. 9. So I start here. 9 is bigger, so I'm going to the right. 9 is smaller. Go to the left. And this is where I put the 9. 7. Bigger, smaller, smaller, 7. 12. Bigger, smaller. So uh, that's, I mean, now based on this, if we calculate now the balance factor of each node, this is 0 basically, 0, 0, 0. This is 1 or minus 1. If it's on the left, it's minus 1. If it's on the right, it's 1. What about this one? The 9. Because 1 minus 1, that's 0. Or this one 0, because there's nothing. What about this one? The one on the right, that's 1 minus 2. So this is going to give me minus 1, right? And then uh, this one. So 0 on the right, 2 to the left. So this is minus 2. What about this one? 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. So, it's 0. But this is not a balanced tree because the difference is more than 1. So, that's the, that, that is the idea. So now, as soon as I see this 2 or minus 2, that means it's not an evil tree. And what needs to happen, we need to balance the tree. Now, how do we balance the tree? We do some kind of rotations. And there are four types of these kind of rotations that are needed in order to balance the tree. We're going to see them one after the other, inshallah. So, for example, if you have this situation, after inserting 35, now 35 is to the left, to the left, to the left. So, 35 will end up being the last one. So, after doing that, we have, we're going to be ending up in this kind of tree with these balance factors. Now, when you have something like this, you're looking for the deepest and balanced node. The deepest and balanced node, this is the one that needs to be dealt with. Because we don't look at the, the one on top most, but the deepest. Once we have that, what we need to do, now we need to do some kind of rotation. Yes? Uh, even if it's like uh, the, uh, the 15 has uh, like uh, minus 3 or more, so it's even higher number. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, we just look at the the first, the deepest one that that was a that is a problem that is making it becoming imbalanced, and we we will balance that one. So even if it's more than than this minus two, it's zero. for example, if it was like this, it will be minus three, right? Yeah, minus three. So we don't look at I mean the highest number, we just look at the deepest one that is starting to be imbalancing, uh, that, that that unbalances the tree. Which means this one. Now this 45, what we need to do with it, we need to rotate it to the right. If we do this kind of rotation, that's the easiest way how to balance this tree without too many things to, to play with. By doing this rotation means now the, this one is not going to be the child of 50, but it's going to be the right child of 40, and then 40 is going to be going up. And this way, we just balance the tree. 
So and there are two types of rotations. It's right rotation, left rotation. And basically, you know which rotation you're doing based on the sign. The sign tells you what needs to be done. So if it's minus 2, that means it's to the left. That means we need to rotate to the right. So that it's unbalanced from the left. We need to rotate it to the right. And if it's positive, it's kind of the opposite. And sometimes we need to do double rotations, right and left. And we're going to see some kind of examples. Um, now, in a single rotation, the left side of a node, let's say this one, of node Y, becomes Y's parent. The left child, when we did this right, this is a right rotation, right? The left child of this one becomes, the left child of this one becomes its parent. And this one becomes its right child. 45 for us is the Y. And this is the X. So the X becomes Y's parent. And whatever comes on the left side of X stays on the left side of X. But what comes on the right side of X is Y. And then what was on the right side of X becomes the left side of Y. As you can see here, this subtree T2. It was the right of x, it becomes the left of y. Well, in our case, what is the right side? There's nothing. So that's why here there's nothing. But this is like the general rule on how this works. So three steps. One, the left side, x of the node y that is the deepest imbalanced node becomes the parent of that node that was being imbalanced. The I mean, the having the, the first, uh, the deepest unbalanced factor of minus 2 or, or 2 absolute value. And then y becomes the right side of basically this because it becomes the uh, the uh, the, the, the one, that, the x that was the left child becomes, on the right side is the, the y, the, that, that node that created the problem. And then whatever was in the right side of x becomes the left side of y. That's number three. So this is what happens in the right, while in the left, basically just the opposite. Instead of the left child, is the right child. Uh, so if it was like the difference between this, you see, instead of the left child of x becomes so its parents, is now the right child becomes the parent. And the uh, y becomes the right child of x, now it just uh, y becomes the left child. I mean, there's something here. Because now it's called uh, x. Uh, this example should have been. Uh, I mean, this this swapped x and y. That's why now it's uh, confusing. This should have been, I mean, the same way. Anyways. But whatever what's wh what was happening to the left. Now you see this. The representation changes. In the deepest and balanced one, this was y. Now here they represented to x. That's why I think they should have kept the same, so you just see the, the, the changes. Okay, what happens in a double rotation? A double rotation is kind of, you do right, left, and then that's something that is going to be uh, needed based on if you're doing, uh, it's a minus two or again, a plus two. Now this end up because if if you do one rotation, it still not solve the problem. So that's why you have to do another one, and to be to end up with a balanced tree like this. 
and it's a double left and double right. What I'd like to do, I just would like to now show this step step by step, so we can we can understand how these are going to be happening. And when when are we going to be doing this single rotation or double rotation, left or right? So let's have a look at this one. Now this doesn't change anything. This is the tree. After adding 14, nothing needs to be changed because everything is less than 2 or minus 2. This is 0 because same height right and left. This is minus 1, which means the one on the left is slight is one level more than the one on the right. And same thing here. And the rest are 0, 0, 0. But now, what if we insert 3? This was this. After inserting 3, now this becomes minus 2 and this one minus 2. We always look at this 1 minus 2. When you see the minus 2, when it's negative, I need to rotate to the right. When it's positive, I need to rotate to the left. Now, after doing this rotation to the right, which one should be rotated? I mean, this one in the rotation will become the child of 5. But there's all the child of 5 right here. So the first, so this is going to be being the left child of 10 and this going to be the right child of five. of 5. I cannot do it like this here, but you can see now. This 8 is going to be connected now to the left side of, of 10 and then the one on the, this 10 itself is going to be on the right side of the 5. And doing so is going to be making it rotated. Now how to do something like inserting 45 in here, which will end up in the bottom making this plus 2. Now when this is going to be positive, we do a left in this one. So this is going to be the left child of 35 and 32 is going to be the right child of the one that was a problem. And we have now this left and right, we've seen them. But how about this one? This is the tree, we insert 7. Now 7 goes left, left, right, right, so it goes here. And now the difference is that we have minus 2 here. Now what happens if I have minus 2? That means I need to do what? A rotation to the right or to the left? Minus 2, that means from the left to the right. To which? To this one. But if I do minus 2 to the left to the right, what is going to happen? So, but it will not work. What is going to be? Let me just maybe do that in, uh, in here. But it's going to be a lot of. Let me just do this 13. And then we have 10, 15. 16 under 15. Okay, 5, 11, 16. 5, 11. And then 16. And then 4, 6. Okay, now we added, after added 7, the 7 is going to be here. So we said now this is going to be minus 2. So, because this is 1, and this is 1, 2, 3. So 1 minus 2, minus 3 is going to give me minus 2. So what needs to happen now is this 10 is going to be the right child of of 5. So I'm going to have 13, then 
this 5 will become the parent of 10 and 10 is going to be the right side of of 5 and what, whatever was on the right side of 5 will become the left side of 10 6 and well 6 only 7 is on the right and then the 4 stays what it is and the 11 stay what it was and then we have 15 and 16 now is this an AVL is it is this AVL balance I mean is this balanced no because this is where is the my mouse okay this is zero this is one zero minus one because one on the right two on the left one minus two minus one this one zero zero the ones that the leaves are zeros this one one how about this one one two three minus one so this is two and this one one two one two three four so two minus four minus two so even after this rotation it was not enough I'm still having an unbalanced tree so what should I ha what should I do now this one should be going to the left okay so let me just try to erase this or not raise it maybe do it in a, with another color now what should happen is that uh, can I I can increase the size yes I think yeah let me increase the size and now what I'm going to do I'm going to just draw it again now this is 13 what needs to happen is that this is the one that this is the deepest and balanced no the, the, the one that has the uh, the balance factor to be 2 or minus 2 so because it's positive I'm going to rotate to the left now when I'm rotating to the left the 10 becomes the parent of the 5 yeah. and then the 5 becomes the left child of 10 and then whatever was on the right side of the 10 will stay in the 10 whatever was on the left side is going to be the right side and then this stays like 4 so basically we just cancelled our we just went back to the same thing so now we just been went back to this this is the same thing as this so it doesn't work like that when we have something that requires a double rotation we are not going to do the right and the left we need to actually do it in the opposite way the left and right which means now when we have this after inserting the 7 we got this one now we need to rotate to the left so how would I know that how would I know when to rotate to the left and how to rotate to the right because of the positive or negative but how do I know that I do one rotation or, or double rotations well there's for example my question is here in this case we did just one rotation this was one right rotation this one we did just one left rotation and as you can see all of these had just two and this one also minus two and we just did one rotation this one also has minus two 
or two, whatever. But we need two or double rotations here. And when we do this double rotation, we don't do them the way that we thought we would do them if we need a one second rotation, because we need to start from the left instead of the right. For example, it's minus two. Well, I make it rotate to the left. But to which one? Not to this one. The one below? To the one below that one. Because that's what is going to happen. We're balancing, we're just putting this six, as you can see here, this six is going to be the, the, I mean the parent of the five, and the five is going to be the left side of the six. And then I do, another rotation, now this time with the 10 and 6, to be able to have like this balanced one. What do you mean to say? I don't understand what you mean, but, you, but if, you, if you change the 6, okay, something like this? Yes. But notice that when we do this uh, rotation, we do a left and right. And after doing left, right, we end up with a balanced one. I don't get what you say now with the same, because same then as what? When you compare the same, same compared to, you compare to, to, to what? What we did before? Now, this, this is what it was actually basically like this and then we did a right rotation on on which one on the 10 and then we did here a left rotation on the 5 and it just ended up just giving us back where we were but here it's now the first rotation was not on the the, the node that had the unbalanced but the one that was below it, to the left of it. So how do we know we need to do these double rotations? Well, maybe, maybe the height gives us something. For example, when we're, I don't know. But let's, 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 let's keep that. But let's see that this is, this is a way how to balance it. We'll talk about how to detect that. But is there any other way to balance this besides I mean, this left and right? If you look at, at this one, for example, after inserting the seven, now I have this thing here. Now, is there another way how to balance it? Just doing one rotation, then it's going to be, I mean, balanced? The 10 and 13? And w w if we, okay, let's try to balance 10, 13. Let me just cancel this. Okay. So if we change now the 10 and 13, now we do the rotation basically from, from here, right? This is the, the one that was uh, like this. Is it? No. This is the, the, le the one on the left. Let me just cancel so I can just cannot cancel more than that but I can do this and then do this which is a nice hack okay now this was minus two as well right now if we rotate these two <coughs> by by doing the pivot to be <coughs> the 13 what is going to be having happening now 10 is going to be the root and then on the right side I have this 13 15 16 and on the left it's going to be 11 the left of 13 is 11 because this 
one was the right of the 10 becomes the left of the 13 and and then here becomes the 5 4 6 and 7 let's count the balance factor this is 0 0 1 this is 0 I forgot all the leaves put them 0 this is 1 this one 1 2 minus 1 so 2 minus 1 that's 1 how about this one 2 no how many on the right 2 I'm not talking about 13 so it's 2 on the right minus 1 that's 1 and this 1 2 3 1 2 3 0 so it is balanced so now we just balanced it by just doing just one rotation so why are we just have to talk about this left and right I'm sorry it's another option well yeah maybe it's another option but it's specific to this kind of problem now imagine that we have a very tall tree now this might solve our problem here but in the long run it's not going to solve the problem in as in general so what they what was found is that by doing this right left or left right this double rotation it's going to fix the problem in any size of any type of the AVL tree so basically but in this one this was not I mean this was confusing because you can see why am I going to do two rotations when one is enough let's see if our two rotations are going to work all the time because we have some other examples and we'll, we'll try to see but the point here in this type of case that I would like you to get is that in some cases we need to do some kind of double rotation and the double rotation does not work the same way that we thought it worked with the one single rotation because the first rotation is not one the one that has the uh, I mean the minus two or the two but the one below it that has the uh, I mean that has that has to be doing uh, be done some kind of uh, rotation and then we go back to this one so basically this first rotation just to prepare the second one to happen because we need to rotate the right side but we cannot do that unless we just fix it this way but we'll see there's some kind of a rule that uh, had to apply all the time yeah. now this this is an the other case where we need to do a different type of this is this was we did the left then and right this is a case where I'm going to be doing the right and then the left and then let's try to see if there's some kind of similarities that will allow us to generalize some kind of a rule that comes with it now if we have this we add 15 we end up the 15 to be on the left side of the 16 because 15 is bigger 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 smaller that's so that's why we end up here now having this these are the balance factors and I can see that this is the balance factor the two and again in this situation I'm not doing just one single rotation I'm going to do two again every time I do two the first rotation is not with the one that has this balance factor to be two or minus two but to its one of its child and then I will just go back and do the one where we call that the pivot is the one that we are we're changing where the pivot is now the one to be having the the balance factor of two well this time we do the right on this one which will make it now 15 is going to be the child of the nine and then whatever was the I mean the the, the parent of this 15 becomes the right child of 15 and then we do this left rotation to give us this kind of balance tree now this is the kind of 
all the possibilities that can happen. And if we have this kind of possibilities, we will find out what kind of uh, rotations we need to do. Now, how do we know that there is a single or, or, or two rotations? First of all, we, we need to do a left every time there's a negative. Alaikum salam. Now, this, this is the rule. Every time you see this minus, minus 2, that means we need to do a right rotation. However, if the one, the child that you're doing the right rotation is negative, that's just need only one rotation. But if it's positive, the right rotation is not enough. Before doing this right rotation, you have to do a left rotation to the child because of the plus one here. And that's the rule that is going to allow you to always to know if you're going to be doing one single rotation or a double rotation. And then we'll go back to the, to the example. Now, if it's minus, you get after, if it's positive, Uh, let me just send this. Uh, when it's positive, that means I need to make a left rotation before my right rotation. And the same thing happens on this, on this side. And basically these are the, all the four possibilities that are, that can happen after inserting uh, a node. Now, after you insert a node, either you end up, I mean, uh, in, in the situation when you have, I mean, let me maybe tr try to simplify that by doing something like this. And let me raise and zoom in. So either you have, for example, something like this, and then this, and then this. Then in one of this, this one that says uh, like this is uh, minus two, alaikum salam, or this one left, and then it was like this. This is what is going to result in a height of of two, right? The deepest uh, height that is going to create the imbalancing. So either it's to the left or left, and then right. Or maybe it was to the right, or to the right, and then left. So these are the three different, the four different possibilities, and this is what this is representing. So either it's left, 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 or left, left, and then there's a right, and this one is right, right, and right and left. So when you have this, the problem is that you have the left and left, you do one single rotation. This one, you add like so this left, left. And how do you know you have left, left? Like check the, check the numbers and the signs. And when you have left, right, you have, we inserted, and then we have this one that is on the left and the other one is on the right. And this is the one that creating the unbalancing then we're going to be doing this left right the left first then the right and when it's going to be the problem is right right we just do a left one left and if we need to do right left because of this and this that becomes the i mean the double double rotations so I don't want to go into more details. I just would like, let's say, uh, I'd like to, I mean, practice this a little bit, just to manually work with those and see what is needed based on this kind of situations. And let's see if we, we can end up, even after inserting, to be able to end up with balanced, with balanced trees. So I'm going to stop the recording here and